Welcome to Pickleball Journey. Today we are talking about how to prepare for your next tournament. Justin and I have a pickleball tournament this weekend, so we thought we'd send you guys out a video of a, the three-step process to a perfect warm-up that we're going to be doing this week to prepare for our tournament. All right, guys, we're going to do three things. The first thing we're going to do is a dink drill to warm us up. Then we're going to do a drop drill for that third ball drop. And then the last thing we're going to do is a ground stroke or drive driving drill. If you find these videos helpful, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Comment below. And also smash the like button. So for this first drill, we're doing a dinking drill. Uh, what we're going to do, we're each going to take turns, but I'm going to start by staying in one place. I'm going to move Elisha side to side, and he's going to try to hit every dink back here. So this is really good for working on his movement, uh, his endurance. If you do this right, he will get tired pretty quick, um, but it's also good for working on moving the ball back and forth if you're in this position. So we'll, we'll jump right in here. There we go. Try to mix it up. Don't always go to the same spot. Here we go. Try to confuse him a little. Good. Now you're really just trying to work on getting the ball a couple inches over the net. Good net clearance. No misses in the net during this drill. Good. Taking a couple out of the air if you can. If you're on this side, if you're in a Elisha spot, it's going to be a little bit tougher because you're moving side to side. Good. Good. All right, guys, for drill two to warm us up for tournament or tournament you can be playing in is we're going to be working on our drops. Okay, so uh, Justin's going to be feeding the ball over to me. I'm going to be hitting the ball, trying to drop it at his feet, making sure I'm back and then moving forward into my shots. Again, I'm just trying to work on my finesse. Nice. Now, one thing Elisha, I notice he always does, he's always aiming inside the kitchen on this. So we give him, you know, if he hits it and it falls within the kitchen, that's considered a good drop. Yeah. What's really essential, guys, is, is for a drop, is to make sure that you have clean contact. I'm not kidding you. When I say this, this is like, I say it a lot for a lot of shots but it's really, really essential. You'll see the same noise. I've now hit maybe 20 balls successfully in a row drops because I'm focusing more on my contact than anything else. I'm getting in position, getting my head where the ball is and my pal where the ball is and trying to make clean contact. The minute I, see, the minute I hit off center, it, I lose pace. Then I can't zone in my, my pace that I have exactly zoned in for a good drop. So I need to make sure that you see my logo here. I'm hitting directly on that logo almost every single time. That's good. Um, so that was good. Just warm up, really getting Elisha in a rhythm. Yeah. Now what we like to do, mix it up. So I'm going to throw in different paces, move them forward, back. Now he gets uh, to hit some shots from some different spots. Yep. Get him moving a little more. Put some spin on it. A little bit of a tougher. Here you go. Good. Nice. Again, not trying to trade power with power. I'm just trying to see the ball as well as I can and hit it clean and just allowing his power to get the ball right over the net and drop it right in front of him. And even if I hit nice ball, even if I hit it too deep, if I get it somewhat low, he still can't be aggressive with it. Ah, it's a bad one. See, yeah. I missed hit that one. I wasn't in position. All right, guys, to jump in for the last um, drill that we're gonna use to practice for our tournament is we're gonna work on our drives, okay? So um, essentially, instead of that drop right over the net, I'm gonna be driving through that ball, trying to keep it low to Justin, all right? So yeah. he's gonna feed a couple balls. Yeah. She's gonna try so, to. So what, we, what we're gonna do, 
we have a bucket of balls, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, this is just to get him in a rhythm. So instead of pounding balls back and forth, I'm just going to feed him forehand, backhand, forehand, backhand. Yeah. This will just get him in a nice flow. Give him some confidence as yeah. he's heading into the tournament. If you don't have a bucket of balls, what you could do is I'm just hitting, I would just hit straight to him and he wouldn't try to be aggressive with it. He would just block it right back to me to, for me to hit it right back at him again. Yep. Perfect. So here we go. I'm just going to be feeding. Just get in a nice flow. There we go. No misses in the net. That's what we like to focus on. Nice. Good. One more. Good. So this, you'll notice, is really just going to give you a lot of confidence, the repetitions. Uh, it's almost like having a ball machine. Yeah. So if you, do, if you do have a bucket of balls, do that. Otherwise, again, just be at the net and hit those volleys back to your partner. Yeah. Make sure to practice your spin serve prior to your tournament. Let's go. Let's eat it. <laughs>